Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, today we're back on the hood for that 1950 Chevy truck, but we're not going to be polishing or uh, anything else on it. What we're going to be doing is putting it back together. That includes getting the center strip on it, but we need to do a quick polish on it and getting all the emblems and everything on it and basically getting it ready to go so when it goes back on the truck, we don't, we're not messing around trying to put this stuff on while it's on the truck. So first things first, we need to do the center strip. We're going to do a quick sand on it. And uh, unfortunately, somebody put a little run in it right here. I just saw it. Uh, actually, there's two, but the emblem covers the lower one. So we got to sand this little tiny run out and then polish the strip so it matches the rest of the hood. So let's jump in here real quick. I'll show you how I'm holding on to this strip so I don't damage it more while I'm polishing it. And then we'll get to work on getting this little run out and do a quick sand on it and get it polished. Okay, I got the center strip just uh, attached to my rolling rack here. And what I did was, I, uh, you can see it here, it's pushed down flush on that board. Well, remember those tabs are sticking through. So what I did was I just took a Sharpie and uh, I marked each location. I just held the strip up there and marked each location. And then uh, what I did was I just took a 3 h drill bit, drilled a hole, uh, you know, just to recess those down in there. And then just wrapped it with some blue tape and uh, clamped it to that and then just clamped that to the uh, rolling rack here. So what we'll do is we're going to work in between the tape and then, uh, then we'll move the tape and then work in that area and then we'll get the whole thing polished. But I wanted to make sure it wasn't, uh, this is the type of thing where you can drop it really easy or swing it and scratch it up or gouge it or something. So I want to make sure I'm really careful with it uh, this late stage in the game. So, and here is the little run we have to take out. I don't know if I can even get it in view here it's right there uh, you can see it there it is so uh, we're going to get uh, sand in on that real quick and bust that out i couldn't figure out an easy way to hold on to this uh, so we're going to be using my little tiny air polisher so i'm going to be able to hold it with one hand and then polish with the other but i know it's not going to fall off the rack or get away from me so let's uh, let me get some sandpaper and a bucket out and we're going to go ahead and get that run sanded sanded out and then we'll do a quick uh, sand of the whole thing Okay guys, here's the little run right here. That's about the best angle I can get for you guys uh, and me being able to still work on it. So we're just gonna use the, the little tiny block, little piece of 1500 grit. And we're just gonna go and sand this. Now I've showed you guys this plenty so you don't need to see it again. So I'm gonna zip through this real quick and we'll take care of this run. And then we're just gonna do a quick sand really by hand, just using my fingers, even though I always tell you guys don't use your fingers, but on a little tiny strip like this, we're just kind of uh, smoothing over the top of it real quick, and then we're going to hit it with some polish. So um, really, the rest of the strip looks perfect, but uh, the hood is polished out, so I certainly don't want to put a center strip on there that's not polished out the same. So let's go ahead and get this done real quick here. And I'm going to move in really small strokes. Now this is close to the edge, so I have to be careful that I don't lean the block over like that. And, uh, and just get to this thing. Now, I don't think I need to use um, uh, the glazing putty trick on this, but if it doesn't feel like it's coming out pretty quick, I will go ahead and mix up some glazing putty and put it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this. You guys seen me do this stuff before, so there's really no reason for me to you know, film it. So I'm going to bust this out real quick, and I'll bring you right back when this, uh, this run is gone, and we'll get a quick sand on the whole thing and then, uh, then get the little tiny polisher out and get this thing polished up so we can start putting that hood together. guys got all the sanding done I got the run sanded out and did a light sand over the whole thing you guys just saw it in super speed so it's looking good I want to make sure you guys see what it looks like before and after and it's uh, it should look come out really nice and uh, look who's here somebody's waiting for his hood to get done so it can uh, get on top there so let's get this thing busted out and get this hood prepped and ready to go okay guys we're, we're gonna be using my little uh, 
air polisher here with the little foam pad on it and number one and I'm just going to kind of go along the edge here and using a more narrow strip uh, works out pretty good so you can get the the polishing pad down on there without you know chewing it up on the wood or anything so we're just basically going to go along here get some compound out here it's kind of oozing out of the bottle here so we'll get the uh, get this polished up on uh, with number one move the tape and then move over to the uh, number two and uh, the sink should come out looking really nice. Let me zoom you in here real quick and uh, we'll get to work. Okay, that's coming out pretty good, but it needs a lot more polishing. I just spent a few moments there. But I'm um, having trouble getting to the edge because of this wood. So let me rethink uh, how I'm holding this or how I'm holding the polisher. And uh, I'll bring it right back. Yeah, that's working a lot better. The uh, wood was actually getting the pad uh, it, when it was overlapping, getting it all dirty. So, and I wasn't able to get down to the edge. So just turn it up and just using the heel right here carefully, making sure I don't hit the hard plastic on there. And that should do the trick. So let me, uh, let me bust through this real quick and I'll bring you guys back and uh, we'll be switching over to number two and knocking it out real quick too. And then, uh, then we'll take a quick look at it. This should go pretty quick. <laughs> tell you guys right now if I didn't have this little polisher I would be doing this by hand because there's no way I would come near this strip with a uh, standard polisher rotating like it does you it, you'll hook it and just bend it you know it's just the way it is so if you don't have one of these they're not very expensive uh, if I remember I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to pick one up um, it's great for this type of little stuff or getting in down in little corners and stuff. It's really come in handy. And even uh, little scratches here and there on um, a finished car, you can go in and you don't have to worry about it flinging uh, compound everywhere, even though it got the lens on the camera. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go over it a little bit more before we switch over to back to uh, switch to number two. But all in all, I think it's looking really good. So let me stay at it for a little bit and then we'll get it done and we'll take a final look at it. Okay, all done. It's looking pretty nice. Now let's see about getting this thing on the hood. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if we can get these in. These little tabs got a little bit of paint on them. Be very careful. We may have to trim the paint off of them to get them to go in. There we go. Between the paint in the slots and then the paint on the tabs, uh, it's going to be a tight fit. There we go. You don't want to be hammering on it, so I'm going to have to try to push it down as I go. So I'm going to go through and get this done. Hopefully the, ooh, that was easier one. That one wasn't too bad. Of course, the one I can't reach is going to be the one that's going to give me all the trouble. I'm going to go through and get all these and get them in. Oh, there it goes. And then we're going to work on uh, getting them all twisted. Now, these pins, there it goes. Whew. It's a little nerve wracking, huh? These pins are pretty old, the sheet metal. They've been through a lot of heat cycles and uh, I was careful when I turned them from being twisted to straight not to overwork them. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to pull down with a pair of pliers carefully and give it a little twist. That's it. So let me, uh, let me get this pulled down all the way and hopefully in place. And then we're going to go ahead and get to work on bending those or twisting those little uh, tabs over so this thing stays in place. Okay, got them all in. A couple of them gave me quite a fight, but I uh, got them in, no problem. The last thing I wanted to do was 
have to try to pull it up again and risk those catching and chipping paint. So uh, that's why uh, doing a test fitting when it was in prime and getting everything where it'll slide right in was really important. So it's all down. Uh, of course, the front, the emblem, front emblem holds this piece down all the way. So I'm going to start here in the back and I'm going to reach over and push down and then pull and give it a little twist. So let me, uh, let me get the camera up underneath there with a little bit of light. And we'll show one and then I'm just going to stay up underneath there and get them all done. I may have to call Dave to come over and help push down why I pull the, uh, twist the pin. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, that's about the best lighting and camera angle I can get for you guys. So there's the pin, there's the other pin. And uh, I dug around in my plier drawer and found these. They're kind of needle nose. Uh, actually, they were my dad's. I think he found them on the side of the road or something. But uh, they got a smooth jaw and they're small enough so I can get inside right here without banging up against here and bending it that way. We just want to put a twist in it. So all we're going to do is just, I'm going to find the center and I'm gonna push down and then I'm just gonna pull and just give it a little turn. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Pull and just a little turn, just like that. So that's all I'm gonna do all the way down. So I can't get up inside there and show you guys what's going on, but it's gonna be the same thing. Hopefully it's gonna go really smooth. So let me bust that out and we'll take a look at it. Okay, I got the center molding on. It's looking really good. Nice even line underneath there. So it looks really good. But I uh, started messing around with this, the emblem for the front. And this is a new one. It's a repop. And it came with a gasket. And you guys can see that gasket is not uniform all the way around. It's, it's not looking good. Now they punched holes for the four screws, uh, studs that go in it. And they weren't punched in the right spot. So I had to open those up just to get it to look this good. But I don't like the way it kind of sticks up proud way up there and it kind of, you know, it's not even here. So I'm going to take some time. I'm going to get some, uh, some clothespins and kind of clamp it all along there and then maybe draw some sort of line and give it a, like an eighth inch reveal all the way around so it's all nice and even. Whatever this reveal is here on top, I'm going to try to make it match all the way around. It's just, it just wasn't a quality piece. Um, so, and I, I can't put it on looking like this, so I'm going to have to fix that up a little bit. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. I've trimmed off this piece that much, and uh, then I trimmed a little bit more off one side, and it does look better. It looks a lot better, but I'm not really happy with it. Um, I just don't like the way it looks. Now, uh, I just talked to the owner, Darren, and he said he's okay without a gasket, but uh, the gap behind it, it's not very even. And so I think it really kind of needs a gasket for this emblem. So what I'm going to do, I think, is you can see here, now we've got a pretty good lip all the way around here. So what I'm going to try to do is trim this gasket so it's just under the roll right there. You guys can see that. I'm going to trim it so it's just right where my thumbnail is. And so it'll just be, it'll, the stainless will roll down and then the gasket will be right there. So that's going to take a little bit of doing. Uh, but I think it's worth it. So uh, otherwise, it's not going to look good. And after all this work, this is the type of thing that you can do. Um, it just takes time, a little patience, to make things look that much better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I really don't like that sticking up like there. It's pretty even. I mean, I did a nice job, but uh, I just don't like the way it looks. So I think trimming it back just past the roll right there is the way to go. So let me do that. I'll bring you back. Um, Hopefully it comes out nice. The good thing about that is the cut doesn't have to be perfect since it's past the roll. It's not like you could see the edge. So, uh, but I'm going to do the best I can. I got to find something that'll mark on this rubber. My little uh, silver Sharpie just died on me. So I'm going to have to find something that'll mark on it. And then we'll get this cut out and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I think I got it. I just end up using a ballpoint pen and it showed up pretty good on that. So I could see it went out in the sun and trimmed it off. You can see now, Look how much nicer that looks. You can't even see it. You will see it once it's on the truck, but um, that's everything I trimmed off. So it's just back, just past the roll. I could actually trim it back farther if I wanted, but I don't want to push my luck here. So uh, you, could, you could literally trim that back probably another 16th, eighth of an inch. And as long as you got a nice, even line, I think it'd look really good. So we're going to go ahead and get this mounted on the truck. 
and uh, I got to clamp that center strip down uh, again and then I can mount this and then I can release the clamp. So let's switch over and get that, that set up and then we'll get the taken care of. Okay, we got the center strip clamped down lightly here so we're not trying to force it down with this uh, stainless steel. And then we're just gonna set this on here. Hopefully without scratching anything. All right, yeah, that looks a lot better with that gasket not sticking up like a sore thumb. So the nuts for this uh, came with a kit. It's just uh, the stainless steel or the sheet metal stamp nuts. So we're just gonna get them on there lightly and then slowly tighten in the two center ones first because this is bowed out, it's touching on the edge. So what I wanna do is I don't wanna tighten these and then start tightening these and have those try to have to push out. So I want to tighten the center ones first and then uh, get the, the outside ones done. So the, uh, the little strips that actually hold the studs, uh, the threaded portion, can actually slide in that sheet metal a little bit in the emblem. So we, we don't want to tighten everything up too fast and have it uh, bind up. We want it to find its own place where it wants to be. Okay, to tighten it up, I'm just going to use a, a, a handleless ratchet. You guys seen these before, it's just a Harbor Freight job. But it keeps you from over torquing these things. And that's one thing you need to remember when you're putting your car back together. Uh, this clear is uh, uh, two weeks old, three weeks old, uh, less than three weeks old. So it's not as hard as it ever will be. So you have to be careful, don't uh, go wrenching down. You can always snug stuff up later uh, after the fact. You wanna get it on there pretty snug but not tight. You know, I'm not even using the ratchet part right now. I'm just twisting this, the, the socket. So uh, I know I'm not over tightening anything. And so while I'm doing that, I'm looking for to make sure everything's lined up nice and everything's compressing properly. So sometimes you'll have to push while you tighten just to help it because you don't want to overstress anything. And the last thing you want to do is slip, strip something out or make a mistake. So you just really want to take your time. And these little stamp nuts aren't the strongest in the world. They're just to hold the molding on. They're not to pull something together or uh, you know, hold something super strong. You know, it's just to hold the molding on, on the front of the hood, keep it from falling off. So right there, I didn't even use the ratchet part. And the two center ones are tight. So let me t get the two outer bo outboard ones done. And we can take the, the clamp off and we'll see how this thing looks up close. Okay, there we go, it looks real good. Let me grab the camera, we'll take a close up look at this thing and how that gasket worked out since we trimmed it back. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, the gasket's down inside there, if I can get an angle on it, but it's not clearly visible from the front. So it's doing its job, look up underneath there. So if we back away, it looks really good, nice and straight. I don't like the way this, uh, the center strip goes through the emblem, but there's not much I can do about that. I didn't make this emblem, so uh, I don't want to start messing with it, trying to make it perfect, but it all, all in all, it looks really good. Now, these, these nuts are pretty tight just by hand with the extension, so uh, over time, they probably need to be snugged up a little bit more, but for right now, we're just going to leave it. I've got them on there pretty tight, and uh, I'm happy the way it looks. I think it looks fantastic. Okay, last thing to do is put the Chevrolet and the 3100 on there. You guys can see we got some compound in there. So uh, the emblem will actually cover that up, but uh, that's not the way I roll. So what we're going to do, we're going to spritz a little bit of water that has a little tiny bit of soap in there. And we're going to let that soak for a second. It'll soften up that compound and it'll come out super easy. So let's let it set. We'll wipe it and then get those moldings on or emblems. Okay, the emblems we'll be putting on is the Chevrolet and the 3100. It looks like Darren had these replated, so they look really nice. Now, uh, he saved the old clips, and these, this is a spring clip. I don't know if you can see that. And what it does, it has teeth. When you slide it over the pin this, uh, on the pot metal, it bites in. It'll only go on. It's very hard to get them off later. But uh, he saved the old ones, and he bought brand new ones. Now, I've rebent all the old ones, and I like, I like to use the old ones if I can. I've had more trouble and scratched more cars and had and broken more pins 
on moldings and emblems trying to use brand new hardware to hold on. So if you can, it might be worth it for you to clean up your old ones or try to get OEM ones and then just kind of straighten them up a little bit and try to reuse them. Uh, you know, it's nice to use all new stuff, but a lot of that new stuff just doesn't work that well. So the way to put these on, the way I like to do it, so that, that clip has to slide over this and it's kind of spring loaded. It's got a little arc to it. And so what it does, when you drive that on, it actually pulls it into the sheet metal. And to do that, what I'll do is, I'll, uh, I'll get this all on there, I'll get the clip started, I'll slide it on by hand as far as I can go, usually not far, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the socket over the top of it, just like this, this little tiny socket, and you want to make sure the socket's big enough so the spring-loaded parts can actually go inside the socket. You don't want to make it so small uh, that it won't allow that, those springs to spring out. And then what I do is I put it on there, and I push it in and as far as I can, and then once I get to that point, then I back it up with my hand on the other side, and I smack it with a hammer on the other side. And I'll show you that from the inside here in a second. So to do this easily, what you want to do, especially when you're working by yourself, is have yourself a piece of tape so you don't drop the, the emblem or whatever you're putting on, okay? So it, it's, just, it's just that much easier for you to get it done without worrying about it's going to fall off the other side. So to get these on, I'm going to slip this on right now real quick on the back side here, and it goes on. And luckily, they slide on going in real easy. Getting these off is a bear, uh, especially in one piece. Uh, applaud uh, Darren for getting this off without breaking any of them. So now they're set in there about as far as I can go, so I'll take the socket. And let me switch the camera around, and I'll show you guys how I set these. Okay, let me twist that a little bit so it's straight. And then I'll just take my thumb on the back side and I'll push right where this pin is, not anywhere else, right where the pin is. And then just take that and push as hard as you can, just like that. And then what you do is you test it to see if it's pulled tight against the sheet metal. And if it's not, then we have to hold it. So what you'll do is, I'll, in this case, I can actually, it's better with a friend, I can actually hold my thumb on the back side and then put the socket right over the top of it, and then I'll just give it a good, just a good shot like that. And what it'll do is it'll push that spring clip on there even tighter, and now there's absolutely no play in that. So we'll get the other one done real, here, real quick here. Oh, that one's not straight. And we're going to push that on and then give it a quick wrap here. Just like that. And it, if you push on the uh, molding and you see this bouncing in and out, then that means you didn't get it tight enough. So just keep working at it, keep trying to set it until it's pulled up against her tight and there's no movement at all. You don't want your emblems or your moldings jiggling around. All it'll do is scratch the paint and wear a spot. And it's just, it's just not good to have them jag jiggling around like that. So let me get this one set. We'll get the 3100 on here and then we are just about done. Okay guys, all done. Everything's on, didn't scratch anything, didn't chip anything. So pretty happy, pretty uneventful day. Had a little uh, drama with the uh, gasket for that emblem right there, but trimmed it up, actually made it look beautiful. So see how nice that looks down in there? Pretty happy about that. So this emblem on, everything's on. So we are basically ready to put the hood on. Now I understand a lot of guys like to put the hood on first and then mount the fenders up and everything, but I didn't want to hold Darren up. I said, just go ahead and put the truck together. I'll install the hood. I actually talked to Dave this morning about it. He's going to come over and help. We'll probably grab one other person, get it mounted up, get the hinges out, get everything ready, get it mounted up, and then it's just a matter of a lot of adjusting, getting the hood just right, and then we'll readjust the fenders a little bit to make it match. But uh, we are just about ready to go, so possibly the next video you guys see will be putting the hood on. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up this video on getting the hood for that 50 Chevy truck ready to go. So we got the center molding strip uh, polished, didn't bend it, didn't drop it, so that was good. Got all the emblems on without too much uh, hassle, and I think it looks fantastic. So the next step will, for this hood will be mounting on the truck. So I'm going to dig out all the hinges and all the hardware that Darren brought with the truck, and uh, we're going to start coming up with some sort of game plan. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep those comments coming. 
and we'll see you on the next one.